When I'm helping people in sales, one of the key things that I try to do is help them actually get a process in place, something that they can duplicate. Because a lot of times I think people get afraid or scared of the sale because they don't know what to say or how to say if they wing it. They don't know how to take a customer from point A to point B to point C. They don't know how to take them from interest to grabbing their attention to getting them invested in what you're doing to getting a yes. So having a process in place, especially when you're starting out, is key for success. That way you have a guideline so that you can walk them down, as Jordan Belfort would call it, the straight line. The reason is simple. We get so caught up emotionally because we're emotional beings. When we're doing things, when we're doing sales, when we're doing anything that we need to have the ability to keep our customer's attention, not get lost or caught up in the craziness that's going on, not get distracted by the other stuff, because he who controls the call will win. So if you're talking to your customer, few things that I'm just gonna suggest. Ask them open-ended questions to start. Don't come at them with a pitch. Don't come at them with a, how great your business is, what you can do for them, all that type of stuff. Find a pain point, find a problem, find a reason for them to talk to you so that you can build a solution around that pain point. Once you do that, then you can go into the presentation, but not before, you have to earn the right. It's like going on a date. You can't just say, hey, you're going out with me. You get to find out, well, what does a girl like to do? Does she like to eat Italian or does she like Vietnamese? Does she wanna go out dancing or is she more like a sit and watch a movie? What things will meet her needs? What things will make her want to you know, go out with you? Same thing with business. What do you bring to the table that's going to help them? What problem do you solve for them? How fast can you solve the problem? Is the value you bring at least four times greater than the cost you're charging? And is it the right timing for them? Because they could have a problem, but they might not have the money right now. Or they might not have the belief in you yet because you haven't earned the right or that trust. Or they may just be wanting to see, are you gonna do what you say you're gonna do? And I know a lot of you right now, because I'm out here walking, have had that sun hit you in the ass. And each time it's distracting to you, right? Because that's how life is. Things will distract you. Things will come at you. You'll be like focused on something and doing it. And then all of a sudden it's just gonna blind you. And it's not even something that you really need to do. So, same thing with the sales process. They have a bunch of stuff going on in their world that would just come at them. So sometimes a no now is not a no permanently or forever. It just means not right now. It just means I have a different fire I got to put out. So set that table. So come into every sales process, every sales presentation with a process that you have set up to help your customers solve their problem. Find out the time frame. Find out if your solution brings enough value for them to purchase it. If it meets their need, because the sales process is always about them first. You have to earn the right to ask for the sale. You have to have it set up to where it makes sense for them to trust you, for them to work with you, for them to do something with you. Because until that happens, not gonna happen. Doesn't matter what your company's done, doesn't matter how many times you've closed a deal, doesn't matter any of that. Because each and every person you talk to deserves to be heard, seen, and understood. And then you can bring them what they need because you've taken the time to get to know them. You've opened up yourself to understand what it is that they need and how you can help them.